grab your cup. I want to talk about the dark night of the soul. Have you ever heard of that? The dark night of the soul. Um, my friend and coach Jody Rodenbaugh calls it a spiritual smackdown. But the dark night of the soul is referenced uh, St. John of the Cross, who was a Spanish martyr and saint and spent time in prison and did a lot of writings while he was in prison. He speaks of the dark night of the soul. It's referenced in a lot of different wisdom teachings as a place where in our, in our life, something painful happens that's painful enough to, to really knock you to your knees, right? It's the dark night of the soul. It's the place where you feel like you're in darkness. Sometimes it happens from a particular event, the loss of someone, the loss of a child, which I experienced, the loss of a marriage, which I also experienced, but something big and significant plunges you into the dark night of your soul. It's the place where you recognize that nothing that you knew about yourself and the way that you had created yourself to be in the world works anymore. It doesn't work. You're, you're kind of left on your knees in a very painful place. The way that we create ourselves to be in the world comes from what we see around us when we're first born. We're like a blank slate. And then the people around us, based on how they relate to each other, based on how they speak to us, how they nurture us, we create a perception of ourselves. And based on that creation is how we go through life. It's our perception of ourselves and how we relate to everything. Other people, money, success, happiness, joy, all of that gets created in our very early experiences with the people around us. And at some point when we realize that no longer works. So it might be a big event like the loss of something or someone where you get disconnected from yourself and how you made life work. Or it might be a long-term painful living where you've tolerated over and over and over and over and over again things that didn't work, relationships, failed endeavors, sadness within yourself, whatever it is, you get to that point on your knees where you're in, your, in the dark night of the soul. But what always happens after a dark night is a morning. It's the process, and this is what St. John of the Cross references, is that it's that process of getting to the painful place that is access to the awakening into the morning light. It's an awakening because you release the misperceptions that you decided to adopt when you were young. You release them and see the truth of who you are. And you stop living from those coping ego driven. The ego is important, it keeps us safe, but it also keeps us small and stuck. So you release those e ego driven ways of thinking and choosing and being. That's the dark night of the soul. And I wanted to talk about it because when you're in it, it feels like no one else has ever experienced what you're experiencing. It feels like it's painful enough that you're never gonna get to the other side. If you choose to see the experience as access to the other side, then you can move through it. If you choose to see life as just painful, and this is what I have, and you stay listening to the ego, which says, stay small, this is, this is where you need to be to stay safe, then you'll stay in the pain. But if you choose to listen and understand that there's something called the dark night of the soul and it's part of a process, the, how long it takes for everyone is different but it's a process. If you can at least see that, then you can move through it. And that's the work that I do with Return to You. That's why it's called Return to You, because it's returning to the you that you were born being before all of the misperceptions, all of the modeling of bad relationships and, and criticisms and judgments got piled onto you. I wish it didn't take 
a dark night of the soul, like a spiritual smackdown to bring you people to their knees. Oftentimes it does. Sometimes not. Sometimes people are like, yeah, I just want to grow. I want to see how I can be better. But oftentimes it takes something. It takes serious health issues. It takes a loss of a relationship that is so painful. You see that you can't function in your life. You, it's hard to focus. It's hard to get your footing again. Sometimes it takes something really big like that, a lot of times. Otherwise, people are willing to just tolerate what they have. But if you're in that place, just know it is a thing. It's not just you. And it's possible to get to the other side. And if you want to talk about that, drop me a comment because that is the work that we do in return to you is how do we move through that dark night of the soul? Okay, have a good day.